How we doing, guys? Welcome back. So, we are... I, I, I want to say halfway... We haven't seen the latter half of this fight, really. So, I, I want to say halfway through, but I'm not exactly sure. We are in an okay position. This is a bit of an issue. This sh I would have wanted dead the previous turn, but we didn't quite manage to be able to pull it off. This side of the wall's all right. This is going to clean itself up because we've got a poison tank here. This will all die. So it's mostly this bottom half we're worried about at the moment. This orb is a problem. We are betting on what it did last turn where it didn't explode because of uh, that guy's in a tower. So it doesn't count as hitting the thing. We're betting on that again to avoid losing him. I think if it does explode, it will still only hit the tower because that takes the damage first. But we haven't had no idea whether that's accurate or not. So, uh, yeah. Let's find out together. This could be a very short video, depending on how this spawns out. Okay, those orbs aren't hugely terrifying. Buff. Okay, that's mostly irrelevant stuff. That buff is... Oh, it's teleported over there. That's annoying. But I think that means we might be able to get better range people to it, because there's less bombs over there, so we can get people outside. But that bomb didn't explode because the guy is still in the tower. So this is how you avoid the bombs going off. <laughs> is you hide your people in towers, apparently. Yeah, that's a huge amount of damage to the wall. Not ideal. But at least the wall is holding, which is far better than last time. Yeah, this, as I said, the bottom half is where we're going to need some help. Thankfully, that frees up our main damage tank a bit. That what just happened. So... Ideally, I'd love to get you in there. Because I think from there, you will be able to hit that. Yeah, you will definitely be able to hit that from that tower. Can you hit it from where you are? You can! That is incredibly useful. Um, also, could try pick that guy off. Are we on? We are on this. So I'm going to try get rid of the elite first does have magic shred, so it'll do decent damage, but it'll still have some resistance. But we're out of range with our magic attacks, so that's not an option. Yeah, I think we'll start by trying to clear this up and then move on. Didn't quite kill it, which is annoying, but not the end of the world. Uh, gonna need to be that one just to get rid of it. Doesn't do much in the long in the short term, but getting rid of it at least reduces the risk of it just becoming an issue because it's misty, so we couldn't target anything in it, and it's in the buff zone, so everyone was buffed by it. I think we can unload as much as we can into this. This one, the wall again, is not under particular threat, so it's okay if we burn everything on it. Then get you out. And you have enough movement just to move over here naturally. I'll get him to jump in this tower once this guy's out. You can't get there naturally, but you could warp over there. And we do need to reduce your mana anyway. It's not like ideal to reduce the mana any more than we need to, but... Uh, do I bother with that or do I just... Because that can't hit it. Sorry, that can't hit it. But that can. I think I'll just do a regular shot. Okay, that stage is clear. Now we need to sort out the rest of this, because again, we are falling behind rapidly in terms of wave clear at the moment. Getting rid of those two elites is definitely useful, but it's not ideal that they got two of our guy, two of our main damage dealers, essentially, to soak up all their fire. I'm going to pop this one more time, because we've got use for it, and it's not like... We're in a good enough position to really be picky at this point. We'd love to get rid of these boomers sooner, but... I think I need to get rid of the buff, because these have bonus damage on them here. So I need to get rid of these buffed guys. You get in your tower, because otherwise they're going to come through that wall really quickly. Could try for a death beam setup, or... Uh, it's just out of range for lightning to be useful. Lightning would be another way of solving it if it were available, but it's not. You are going to have to come back and deal with this front area. 
We are out of warp charges on her, which is annoying because we burn them all trying to get that um, the sword down basically last turn for those who haven't watched that video. Okay, I think if you end up here, you actually are going to do fine. Cleave is one hell of a way of clearing. Well, Boom is one hell of a way of clearing this section. I'd love to get you on that. But I don't have an easy way of getting you over there. Yeah, I could do that. And then... Okay, that solves another issue on this front. This area is still definitely under threat, though. The spiky block will deal with a lot of this is the thing. So I don't feel pressured into dealing with this right now. Just debating. Because I can't really get anywhere useful. Maybe going through this guy is good enough. Taking out that thing. That'll put... If we do that with a regular attack, it'll just put us... Yeah. I'll get there to do that. Doing that's not an option. It's all just a little bit unfortunate. Let's go through that guy and we'll just rely on Spiky, uh, spiky Block to its thing. We also have this guy if we need him. This is still the main issue though. So, what are our options? Teleport out. But we need to get in here and we don't have the movement to do that anymore. Not without dropping you out, which makes you vulnerable to flyers and all sorts. But a lightning along there does clear a lot of the issue. Let's kill these flies here. Because they are just going to come over the wall regardless. And then... Maybe one more. Take out the guy who's resistant. But I can't really afford for this to go straight through that wall right now. So I'm going to have to risk it. You get out over there. You go there. That doesn't leave you with enough movement to get in the tower. Which means we're going to have to do this. Even though it gets rid of Thrifty, which would have been lovely to have there. I mean, it's an extra free mana use, but... Problem is that bomb's in there. And I don't have a way of getting rid of it. But I don't have a better use. So annoying how awkward this has just become. Again, because of that bomb. I guess if that bomb goes off, it's just going to go off anyway. So I guess the first lightning hits here. Because we can do double lightning. At least chunks a decent amount of them. Second lightning goes here, and it might hit the bomb, it might not. It did. Which, at the very least, cleared the wave, but it did open the hole. Which was what I was worried about. Okay, get out this now and start running. Because now we have a huge hole to deal with, and that's a problematic thing. They were probably going to burst through there next turn if I didn't clear them anyway, and that was the only real way of clearing them, but it's annoying. That needs to die. Um, we are two tiles away from becoming unblockable, and then we can unload this into it, because that'll get around its main defense. I'm going to put a third into it just to be safe. Okay, that's going to die. There's no problem. I can probably keep burning health, but I am going to need... I essentially might have to end up using this guy to plug that hole I just made. But he's a little too valuable over here at the moment. Do we have mana? We have mana here, so... Where's that bomb explosion? Yeah, lightning in that should be fine. Or just blowing the bomb up should be fine, because it doesn't hit any of our guys. Yeah, that was, that was worth more than the lightning would have been. Uh, just out of range of all of this, which is annoying, but... In the meantime, we might as well clear what we can. You can try to drop this. Lightning there isn't terrible. He has mana to burn. So 
so might as well do it. That bomb isn't an option for being set off. And I don't think it matters who I shoot with that because everything's ready, so we'll actually save it for next turn via uh, the perk. Can't jump over the wall this turn. If I stand next to the wall, it's going to explode on me. Get there. Because that way you can... Uh, yeah, get there. Armor up. And then at the very least, he's not going to... I mean, can we throw a dagger at anything useful? I guess we can throw a dagger at that. Doesn't really make a difference. But he gets some healing out of it, I guess. So, but essentially it sets him up to jump over the wall here and then we'll have to sort it out from there. So this is now a problem. This side's actually kind of cleared itself up a bit, but we have moved our guys away from there, which is a problem. And we are running out of mana on our main mage right now. So, yeah, that's not good. But that's all we can do. She disappears. All the little swords come out. I'm not sure whether we got to this stage last time. I have to double check with the sword store. I imagine it's like an AoE around them or something. Yeah, this is where your mages have to pull their weight. And your tanks, I guess. Like, she's actually quite good AoE herself, but... It's just a little too many of them at the moment. Yeah, they were coming through that wall regardless, so I'm not too pissed about the bomb, it's just... I would have preferred it had the bomb not gone off. There was a chance, there was like a 50-50. Or probably less than that, actually, because the uh, lightning could have gone diagonal. But, hey. Live and learn. Like, you have mana, so... What can we do to sort this mess out? You get back in there. You'll just need it to hold that side at the moment. I think we have a good lightning spot over here. I think if we kill that thing, lightning can jump all the way along there. So that'll be a good... Uh, again, the bomb. Maybe we kill um, that one as well. How far are we off? 51. Um, I mean, he's going to clear up all that. Probably that thing. She should be close to 100% crit, and we're just trying to use the last of her mana as efficiently as we can get it. Because that'll help hold this side of the wall as best it can be held. Get rid of the guys on the weak section of the wall. The rest will just have to deal with itself. We can use the patience perk to keep that point active. We don't have to spend it right now. Um... What do we do with you? I mean, that thing needs to die. One way or the other. Because that's dangerous to everything in there. And then I guess it's have, we have to work all our way along this. But trying to time that out is going to be hard. It's annoying that that's alive. I mean, it's not going to do much, but it does have a 100% damage increase. So, you know... Not ideal, and we're just going to have to chance it on these, because I re I can't have them bursting through, because they will take out the gates that are our final backstop way too quickly. And it's just going to have to be that. Annoying. We might be able to get maybe you over there? We're still waiting on whatever the second thing is. What do you guys do? Buff one target. So everything in those areas cannot be reliably killed as it is now, which is a problem. So I can't leave anything up that would be a danger like that. Thankfully, we have our best sniper over there who is probably just going to wreck it all because she can. It is the advantage of having this type of character available. Um... Damn it. Hopefully her perk kicked in, but there are just way too many of them right now. Okay, let's slow down this lot, and then the boomer can move in, and maybe we can use the boomer against them. 
And then... Can we do something similar here, maybe? That's not the right button. I was after that one. Not really. It's difficult to get a line where they can hit decent targets. I mean, I could try kill all this lot again, but that kind of wastes the whole... I mean, it's kind of good, but it's not going to kill most of the important ones. That's going to have, requ have to require the boomer. I guess there, because this lot got buffed. So, yeah. And they're dodging enough that she actually gets her action point back. I mean, that would give us one shot at the moment. That's not really worth it. You. I need you to help over here. This side probably can hold by itself with our mage. Just smacking everything. I'm assuming these are invulnerable, yeah. So that's not an option. I guess just pick off the little shits at the start. Just get the walls clear a bit and then figure out what you're doing. Could do explosive shot there. I don't think that does anything useful though. So let's probably just pick up all the stuff on the walls for now. We do need to keep up with that. Like one breach I can maybe plug with a tank if I can get one over there. But the two multiple breaches I would struggle. Like desperately to keep that under control. Might be a, seem a bit of a waste, but knocking the contagion along a bit does slow down progress for them on that side. Might be able to keep it going if I do this. And then I will have vision for this next shot, so I could step out my tower and hit something else. Maybe this. Like... It's not the best shot in the world, but it is clearing. Which is actually what we need right now. Ooh, and I get some more. This isn't going to have vision, so that's not as good. Save it for next turn, get you out. Right, now the arduous task of where do we put our tanks. Because this is sort of dependent on what they need to do. Because I imagine they're going to have to go after the boss wherever they actually appear again. You need to make your way at least to this area. Clearing the wall just to keep it clear. Do you have your buff still going? You do. So we can spend a bit to do this. The fact she's poisoned is pretty much irrelevant. It really doesn't re matter. I don't think I need to spend the health right now. And I'd rather generate some health for her. That's going to smack her where she is, but there's nothing I can really do about that. So I guess just armor up. We'll pop this again, refresh the buffs, so we don't have to do it next turn. You've done all of yours. Who's left? You. Getting you over here would be really good right now. I'm going to do that, and I'm just going to poison all of this. Just deal with it, essentially. <laughs> Make them have to deal with the pain of moving forward under this much pressure. And then... And then I didn't mean to do that attack, but it kind of works out. We can step forward and we can deal with you, 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 and you. And then a dagger throw there would be good. Don't have another jump, so that's not an option. Okay, can start to think about popping these, because I don't know how many turns we have left. Boomer there, this lot we're hoping group up and they can explode. This should move into here and we can do the same over there. Okay, I think we're holding for the moment. Two action points are you, can't really do anything, and you don't have actions to do anything with. 
She is going to run out of mana. I would love to get a mana pot on her, but we didn't have that option. Okay, you're back. Do I get to kill you now? You're both back. Okay. Both weapons are back. Okay, that's... I imagine the sword's now bottom left. Okay, so both weapons have ended up near our tanks. That's good for us. Kind of. We'll have to see what they do now, because things are problematic. Mega buff, as expected. But this is the rush phase. Elites over there. Double elite over... Oh, dear God. So many, so many things just happening now. And they get to act immediately? Oh, that'll be annoying as hell. And they're starting to breach. <laughs> Sorry, there was an elite there. <laughs> uh, no, no, they, it wasn't. The, the, I thought they killed one of the elites with that. It wasn't. Lost our ballista there, as expected. When they came through the wall, it was always going to end like this. Question is, does this move to the end, or does this move... Is there another phase after this? Because we're going to destroy their weapons again. And, oh dear god, the buffs are insane. Okay, so weapons, it's got its mirror damage thing again, has heal, has immunity to debuff. That's actually still manageable then. Is it near anything? Or can I not target it because she's in there? I mean, we can solve that by you going in there, as we've discovered. You're not immune to poison, are you? just test something. I wonder if I can just poison it to death. Okay. Not hugely effective, but it is enough that she no longer has to basically one-shot it. Although she damn did a good job of just chunking it anyway. This is now worth popping this. On this turn, I just want both weapons. If I can get both weapons dead in one turn, this is still doable. Okay, fine, whatever. We'll do it your way. Die. Fortunately, these guys didn't group up quite as much as we wanted to. Getting rid of that is still worth it, though. Just armor up where you are. You now have to get out of the bomb range. Pop this just in case shit comes... To, uh, no, because we're now in other bombs range. I don't think he's tanky enough to take both bombs. That's problematic. I mean, I guess we can technically step out of this bomb now. Or we can just tank a bomb. Which might end up being better. I think he can survive one. He's in two there. So I guess he has to go there. Pop this to survive. Then what do you do? There's so many bad options that could happen quite quickly here. Okay. I mean, we had the move. I forgot about the movement thing. I'm going to pop this just because. Make him just immune to everything. One weapon dealt with. Second weapon, more problematic, though. You've still got your buffs going, yeah? Okay. But you don't have many action points, so you're not going to be reliably killing it. Might be better you reliably just try and kill all of this lot here. We could definitely get you over there, it's just I don't think you do the damage you required. Might need to do some switcheroo to be clever about this. 
That bomb is actually worth detonating there. It gets rid of the rest of the wall, but there's already holes in the wall, so it doesn't matter. And it, one action point to clear all that. It didn't even destroy the wall entirely, so that's actually really good for us. Okay, I'm going to save the rest of his movement in case I can use it over here. But... Do need to figure out ways of dealing with this and this. Because you do mirror damage, which is going to be problematic for him any of my guys to deal with. Could drop its resistance, but I don't know whether that's actually going to be effective. Like, I want it dead this turn is the problem. Because it has to be this. Chunks his armor, so we can hit it once more, but... Maybe we'll do this first. Try and kill the elites. And get Frifty up. Lightning will do a thing over there, but Lightning might be more use if we can get you here just to help clear this out, because you're no longer be able to do, gonna be able to do with that. That stops us getting in the tower, but it might be good enough for a lightning bolt on this pack. I'm not sure where it's gonna end up, but should at least weaken them. Let's see if we can drop that. Like just stopping the boomers getting too close is going to be huge. That shouldn't be able to move that far, but so we can leave it and it'll get a better shot next turn, because at the moment it's not doing a lot. Okay, fall back a bit. You hop there, hop over there. Annoying. Oh, there's a barricade there. I knew I was missing one. This doesn't matter, though, because we can still get in this tower. And you should have enough range for you to be able at least... He doesn't have a lot of health, though. Which is problematic for dealing with this. Since isolating it's also going to be a pain. Get there. Can you jump on him? No, because there's a blocker in the way. I want to the area around it clear. Here, pop this. Build up a whole ton of momentum. And stab it. At least do a significant chunk of the damage now. If I could kill him, I could get it isolated, I think. Okay, good enough. Isolated just means that I could maybe do this and hopefully it won't reflect so much damage that it'll kill him. Because it should only reflect 90, which will go for his armor, but... That is tantalizingly close, but if I shoot it anymore with him, he might die. And it's immune to poison, so that's not even an option. What's your skill range? Because you have movement. We could maybe do similar tricks, but I don't think it'd pay off. And we've used everything on the other side. So I might have to sacrifice this guy. In which case, we hit it with the biggest single shot we can, which is that. Meaning this shot goes... There's all these bombs, and they're all bloody scary. Um, here, I guess. I'm going to pop this to minimize the damage. It's arguably a waste, but I need this dead. I don't know what the next stage is, but killing that obviously is the way to trigger it. And then just try and kill this lot. Poison, at least, is going to do more over time than any of the single abilities would. Okay, you end up there. Just spiky tank all the way you can. That leaves you. If we can get a vision trigger, there's some good lightning opportunities here. There's just good lightning opportunities all over the place. 
just to make sure it goes in the right direction, kill that thing. Then to get the buff going, kill that, I guess. This side of the wall is far more threatened than this side of the wall, so help out down there where you can. Massively reduces the amount of threat from over there. Like, we're actually nearly there. We're nearly at the final stage, and even though we've lost this wall, we do have the gate in a wall to buy a turn. It's not going to hold forever. Not by any means. But it could just buy us enough time. I am debating... Don't have lightning, but I do have something like that to fire maybe there while he has vision active. There aren't any bombs that would hit him there, so he might be able to just fireball and help keep this side under control. It's obviously not ideal, but something like that would just take the edge off over here. Arguably okay, could do that. I don't think it's worth in the long run, but it's something to consider. Yeah, I don't have vision anywhere else. Can't move anywhere. Pop that just because. And then we'll just have to see how that goes next turn. Only person in range of bomb is you, who's in a tower, so we've decided that doesn't go up. You're holding fine. I'm going to try save the last of her mana. She is literally the best way clear we have. You are going to get hit. Nothing we can do about that. Hopefully you have enough block and resistance to really kind of shrug it off. Not in execute range. Rematerializes, whatever. It is going to summon another one of these, though, I reckon. Although it could both disappear at the start of their turn because we got rid of their weapons. Don't know. We'll have to see. <laughs> Okay, they both disappeared, so I don't think they did either of their abilities. There are now a lot of weapons on the field. And a lot of bombs on the field. This may be the point where we start detonating our walls just to clear them. Because I think a full H HP wall doesn't actually get destroyed by a bomb. This bomb here is probably going to go off, but now there's a lot of guys in it. I don't know whether that's actually a bad thing. And I think our tank can survive it. Our tank didn't even care. They are slowly coming through the walls. But we are in a good enough state. I'm not panicking yet. Obviously, there's so many buffs and stuff going out. I'm not even going to try track it. It's just insanity. That guy's going to be terrifying. So I reckon, judging by this... We hold for this one turn, then they will come back, and it will be an all-in to kill them. Which means this turn is probably the most important turn, because we have to set it so that we can survive long enough, wherever they turn up, to go kill them. So yeah, that's the game plan. I know it's not much of a plan, but that's the plan. <laughs> um, kill that guy because he's close. Kill that. I'm just trying to get a thrifty set up here. Kill that because boom. This guy's going to be a little worrying. Is there anything we can do to make this lightning slightly less awkward? No. Hop in there. Maybe just get rid of them. I don't want to detonate that, but I don't want to open this wall until it's a bit clearer. Because at least this is holding them up. And then once the wall is down, you detonate these. I guess hit this thing? But it's got mirror shield, so it's just going to hit me back. Maybe... There's so many places. If I put lightning anywhere, it can go. Maybe you hit here. Then you do this, because this at least guarantees it goes up here. Where it goes from there, however, 
It could go this way. It could go that way. But if I drop it over there, it's guaranteed to hit these, which is not good. So it has to hit here. Good enough. Not ideal, but good enough. Are they immune to debuffs? They're immune to de these two are immune to debuffs, but no one else is. And I need to save as much mana as possible now, because not only do we have to hold this turn, we might need to hold a turn afterwards. I'm going to save this action point. This is going to get hit if I don't do anything, but I cannot risk that. Or changing anything just to avoid it. So you should die to poison. You are a problem, but again, mirror shield. So if I hit you, I'm going to hurt myself quite a lot. I guess you get rid of that. Like, having less of these moving orbs, I think, is the biggest difference between this and the last playthrough we did. And it's getting to the point where I, I actually believe we might pull it off. I might be being a bit optimistic there, but hey... Gotta be optimistic somewhere, and that might be it. Knowing that that missed, I need these runners dead. I mean, if I'm gonna shoot that, I shoot it with one big blast. I also try and isolate it, because its basic infliction shouldn't. Yeah, I know I did that in the wrong order for specialist, but that's so I can save this and try and blast it. And miss. Of course. Why am I not surprised? Uh, you have Berserker up? You do. Okay. Go through this guy. This is now just going to be Cleave Mania from the Berserk tank that's basically been carrying us this entire playthrough. Go through that guy. Go through that guy. Because he's still debuffed in action points for a couple of rounds, which is annoying as hell right now. Can't really jump anywhere useful. But I can't... I don't want him committed into this corner if he needs to go somewhere else. So, he may have to commit over here. In which case, try kill this guy. Like, this build is so good, it's just annoying that he got the... He's the one. If anyone else had gotten debuffed, we don't struggle to kill this, and we're fine coming back. Just dead annoying. Put yourself there and tank. Okay. You now need to get. Uh, you haven't got the movement to get back over there. Not without spending. I mean, you could go there. No, it doesn't get you over there. Annoying. I might have to swap out of towers here for a bit, but. I actually think that's manageable. I can use one more of these. And I think the best place to use it... That hits my own tank. Is here. Maybe here? That blows up an orb. So it's either here or here. This helps keep the gap closed. This is only going to hit the... I'm okay with this grouping up a bit more. It's a bit annoying, but... I'd love that guy to be dead, but whatever. Okay, that orb can detonate. At this point, it's just pick targets and kill them. Can we get rid of that? No, I want that boomer a bit closer. Get rid of that guy, perhaps. Because he was buffed, as is most of the stuff over there. But he was going to go through that wall like nothing. Try get rid of... I feel like every target I select is going to have pros and cons. And it's very annoying. One last one. Probably one of the flyers. Okay, get out the tower. Get running over there. Because then you can help out over here. Or at least get... Yeah. This, this is all going to be awkward. Because not only do I have to think about this turn, I have to think about next turn and where everyone ends up. Okay. We need your lightning, mate. The problem is, if we lightning over here, it's going to hit that wall. 
So, let's take out the flyer that's definitely going to come over the wall first. Need to fire this shot first, which probably goes into you. Lightning there detonates those. Lightning here doesn't do much. Any lightning here doesn't help. Maybe a fireball this time then? Fireball still hits the walls most of There's an okay fireball. It just feels so awkward at this point. <laughs> uh, we do have vision. Does vision help us do anything? Yes. So we can hop out here and do that shot. This ability, it, when you get, start getting stone walls, is far more valuable than most of the others. I've been giving it less credit, credit than I should. Detonating them still takes out our walls, not ideal. Weakening this section's fine. Then I guess it's just free random guys. No one has buffs that's in range, so... Which section of the wall is weakest, if any? I guess it's mostly fine. In which case, just take out the free in the middle. And I'm actually going to save the last action point the next turn. Deliberately. Okay, so. This is going to be a problem. But, again, I'm hoping if this ticks over the final one, it'll become an all-in. In which case, we don't have to care about it. Do you have a Berserk buff going? You do not. Pop that. And start a swinging. Like if he can clear a little bit up over here. He doesn't have to clear everything, but clear it up enough that, say, this guy's dead, this guy's dead, and then the fly is dead. Good enough. And then, most useful thing for you to do... Where's that orb? You could stand there. That'll help out with poison spread, but we can get rid of the runners, the bow, poison you, or just kill you all. That's perfectly fine as well. He's still immune for a turn, so they can't stun him, and I'll be honest, nothing around there does enough damage to get through him. Like him being able to survive an explosion means I technically could have used him as an orb. Like, drag. I'm not sure if it missed, though. It was a bit hard to tell because there was a lot of stuff attacking at the same time. Right. This may be one of the final turns. This is huge a problem. This side's cracking, but for now holding. I think we're okay up here and here. This is probably the most scary thing on this side. This is all going to get shot. So, question is, where are they? next to each other. Interesting. I'm assuming that's their final form. Okay, sucking free action points from him is probably the least effective thing it could have done. Because that guy doesn't have much left, I think? Or is he our mate? He, he might be our old guy, in which case, whatever. Okay, it teleported on the same turn? I'll explain why they showed up together. But where are they teleporting to? Like, it's definitely an all-in on the guys where we can. And then everything else is just going to have to deal with what it can. You can see the breach is really becoming a problem right now. Might lose our tower there, but I'll be honest, the tower is pretty much irrelevant at this stage. Remember, we're not dead if they get in now, because there's one layer of gates, but it literally only buy us one turn. It will not do anything more. But you can tell how much stuff's on the field by how long their turns are taking. Also, please notice this orb is still around. Okay, that... I don't think the orbs can go off now. 
So I'm... Oh, okay, the orbs cannot go off mid-turn, which is why that didn't blow up there. You guys are vulnerable, right? Do you have anything... 10% dead. So you can't hit it multiple... This guy, this one, you try and avoid hitting multiple times. It, it has energetic. This one also has energetic. And... Gets rid of all stuff at the end of their turn, but it's not immune to poison. Curious. So you haven't got many action points. You are still debuffed from last time. So we haven't got many action points over here to deal with this one. Yeah, this is going to be down to the wire. You are in the wrong place. So I might have to have this. Let's get people who can't hit the bosses done first. I don't care about the outer wall anymore. I care about this. I care about galing you and I care about killing you. Bear in mind, we can't commit outside the walls to where they are because they're just going to teleport. Like, I think the best I can do is something like that and something like this. Do you have a Berserk buff going? You have a buff going. I'm not sure what it is. I think it might be a potion or something, but I'll be honest, it doesn't matter. What matters is that you are there and you are just killing everything that got through the hole. And everything that might get through the hole. Poison that to hell. Pop your immunity potion just to make sure you don't get anything dumb going on. So, we've lost vision over here, which means we are going to have to come outside the wall and hit her. Do you have a misty buff? What's going on? Okay, there's an elite somewhere in there, isn't there? That thing. I was really hoping there wasn't going to be something like this. I assume I can still hit her, though. Yeah. But she's not isolated right now. So what is... This is the... I, I don't like not being able to rotate camera here, because it's very important we get her isolated for damage purposes. And it's difficult to see what's going on on the other side. I think this one, this one, and this one. So there's three normal guys where we need to be. I think if we get there, do we have Berserk going? Or is that that buff? That's that buff. So we can. Obviously, this is burning a lot of our AP and is very annoying, but. I don't have a choice. Do you have an Execute still? No. So you can stick with her, which is really good for us. Okay, so we've got through her main body of health. Do you still have this sod at the back? Which I think is worth putting around in. Just to cause isolation. Now remember, we can't really hit her multiple times. Because it will de debuff us to hell. And I'll be honest, if this guy retreats, he dies to that. But mirror shield's going to mean I only really get one shot off with him. So maybe kill the stuff around her with that. Like, weaken everything we can, then go for the one shot we're going to get on her. This is going to hurt. Got through my armor, but we're alive. Again, I don't know if we can retreat. I don't know if we can get far enough away from bombs and stuff. I don't think we can. I mean, maybe there. That's like the only safe space to keep him alive. Might need him next turn. Again, I don't think we're going to be able to clear this in one turn, but I'd love to have got away with that. Okay. So, going with that logic. Her losing the tower there sucks, because that would have been really useful for getting on top of her. You, she doesn't have a damage reflect. And you have full action points. Just debating, just... He doesn't have resist shred, and she has a lot of resist. Might need to pull you over here. 
you even get there in decent order. Because you need to get in, fire shots from the turret and get out. Which I don't think you can get away with. Annoying. So many choices and so few of them matter. Um, right. Okay, let's think this through. Maybe we try tunnel down one boss instead. Might be more valuable than trying to pull in both bosses at the same time. Especially since she has regen. She's technically got less health right now. But she does do the reflect damage stuff. Um... I guess you still end up going in the tower. I guess you still end up trying to do this. This is mostly to try and isolate her. Didn't quite pay off. Yeah. We were close, though. We were very close to getting that isolation off. Definitely chunk her a bit. I don't think it's worth trying to clear the it's like the front at the moment, so we're just out of range of that. Maybe we do two taps on something, we can get an extra range for next turn. Annoying, but we weren't gonna kill her next this turn anyway. You I mean I guess just try to get a thrifty charge up and then do what you can. Everything inside the walls is dying. Uh, you're not actually done. No, you would do that. But doesn't really matter. Okay. What can we do? Can't really move you either, so we're stuck where we are. We do get a lightning, which probably is best used here, just to buy time. That dies to poison, that's good. But that might be the last mana I get to spend. I'm gonna do this here just to debuff all of them. So that hopefully they don't do any damage that I don't want. But I need you moving. And I want you able to get into that tower. There's a bomb there. Can't go that way. Can't go that way. Everywhere's blocked. It's annoying. Get there. Okay. We'll have to sort out what she's doing the rest of her turn later. It's more about getting into good points. Because these guys are probably going to move again. I wonder, can you maybe... I think what the best thing for this guy to do is... Is to try get this front side cleared so that maybe we can hop over it next turn. So we need two shots to do something. That gets us our vision. Pop out of there. Get to there. Maybe a bit further. That stops him doing anything else for the rest of the turn, which is annoying. Maybe we can do it on the next set, because we could use free and then... Yeah, that'd be better. Okay. So, keep clearing. Oh, I'm not up where I need to be. Uh, I think this is still fine. Might have messed it up there with the movement spending, but whatever. Too late now. Yeah, there's nothing really worth shooting otherwise. Okay, now get out again. Now get to there, which is the furthest you can move to. Yeah, we probably lost a bit on this. But, I'll be honest, I don't think that's going to matter. I guess lightning in this corner, and whichever ways it goes, it's going to chain decently. Pop the armor just in case. 
yeah, it's going to have to do. Because he's not going to get any more shots off on anything because of vision. Right. So we did some damage to them, but I don't think it was enough. And it's all going to be a question of do they move. They're definitely going to move, but where? Like She can tank you all day. She doesn't care. In fact, that hurts you more than it hurts us. Thank you for making my job easier. So that's her second turn. Now is she teleporting? That was summoning eggs. If they didn't move, that's really good for us. I think. She is literally having a whale of a time over there. Again, if they're working on the walls, they're not breaking through to the middle. I do not care. I just do not care at this point. Well, the walls have held just long enough. And that opening actually gives us the option of maybe bursting out of there. Okay, losing an action point on her, not the end of the world. Okay, so they're both still where they are, which is really good. You do not have any other option than keep firing that's relevant. So just pump all your damage done and you are done for the turn. Fall back to the middle. There's no bombs that are going to detonate there, so we're okay. You. So he cannot, she cannot do damage. She's debuffed too hard. That's annoying. Maybe if I could get you over there, you could solve that issue? This does involve... a lot of trickery. So, first thing first, this guy has to now leave where he is. And get as far towards her as he can possibly can. He doesn't have to reach her, he just has to get near her. Which I think the closest we can get is there. Question is, could we do anything on the way over to help? Because he's not doing any damage this turn, I can tell you that much. Maybe this. We need one action point to do the last bit of movement, but the rest we can do whatever we want with. So maybe something like this. Just help clear a bit of space. And then leap over there. The reason that's important is we need her. And she is massively depleted on movement as well. Just, uh, no, they are in range. I think it's worth it to do this. And just remove all her debuffs. That gives her all her movement back. Yeah, this is how you kill this boss. You just get one of these, you pump, pump up the debuffing, and then you start smacking it. Um, yeah, build up as much momentum as we can. Again, that we are now immune to her debuff, but it's still painful to keep hitting her. Okay, so two, two action points left. I guess just... I mean, one. it might actually just be worth it to do um, this. Maybe there. This is as much damage as she's going to uh, be able to do. While clearing as much as she can. You need to get back out here. 
we can lose people at this point. I'd obviously like not to lose people, but we're getting to the point I have to all in. So, because we're not going to hold the middle forever. You are now isolated. I mean, this is the most damage you're going to do. Almost dropped her. But to try and drop her would kill that guy. So let's figure out if that's worth it afterwards. You've done all you can. You could hop in the tower and hop out. This is just the last efforts of everybody to try and just drop her as low as uh, possible. You don't have the range. That's so annoying. Although we could just step there. And clip her on the other side. The reason that's important is dropping her resistance. Because she's not debuff immune. And in fact, it reflected back to us. That works even better. Is it worth doing it one more time? Probably not. But if we can get her down this turn, it's worth sacrificing the guy on the bottom to try and kill her down there as well. I mean, just lightning her. That wasn't worth it, but whatever. Don't have enough mana to be able to do that, and I'm going to move back one just so she takes less damage, but she should be tough enough to take a hit from the front. Okay. Pop this because you are our last damage over here. Pop in there. Don't think it's worth debuffing her again because she's got Shred of Resistance. You don't have the range from there to really damage her. So we're not going to be able to kill her this turn. Which is annoying. Might still be worth you committing to this kill though. But we will literally get one shot because you are getting debuffed massively. so annoying. Okay, you know what? Detonate that now. Does that... Uh, no, kill that. Because that, that is the one way we lose. Okay. Then we get... One regular shot. Maybe on... I, I might need it here is the problem. But if I hit her twice, this guy dies. He might die anyway. This doesn't give him enough armor to tank it. Might be able to play a bit of a gamble game. If we do that shot, step here... We get one free to hit this. And this will hurt. It shouldn't kill him. And there is a chance any of these guys just walk up and kill him. But it means that if she steps anywhere we can deal damage, they'll be able to drop her wherever they are. I didn't do half as much damage to him as I thought it would. Okay. Okay. It's very annoying. But if you step there, are you in range to hit her? No, because you don't have the range. Shit. This is going to be a lot of last minute thinking, but there's nothing I can do to avoid this. I think I've held well enough. I shouldn't die. So if I can keep this area clear, or at least clean it up a little bit, with this guy. I can survive one more turn. And be able to finish off both of them. Like she may die to just... She'll probably die spiking out. So she's actually probably dead. Now that I think about it. 
Um, but I do need to drop as many of these guys at least low enough that they aren't going to just waltz through and kill all my other guys. Because they are coming in. That is a thing that is happening. This does nothing now, so there's nothing I can do there. You've done all you can, and you were very useful for it. I thank you for your sacrifice. Um, okay, to be on the safe side, I'm going to hop... No, safest is in the tower. Okay, so if they, I don't think they can kill us this turn. This guy will run all the way through and probably hit a gate, but that's fine. That doesn't kill us. You are close enough to be able to snipe, hopefully, wherever she comes out. We've lost... I mean... It's just a bit messy. If they teleport around, I can't do anything about it. It might literally be a case of wherever she teleports determines whether we win or lose. Okay, awkward, but not the end of the world. She's alive, but so is our guy. And she's landed near both our tanks. And I think both tanks can get to her. Yeah, I knew that orb was going to do it. But I couldn't do anything else. Your sacrifice will be remembered! Tank still having a whale of a time. <laughs> I think they've just about gotten a half health, but like maybe healing received would be a thing to consider for this point, with how much damage she's taken. But the fact she's held up this long is quite frankly insane. So our way out of this is the fact that that warp square is still up. You can't use it, so how far can you get? And can you get in range? You can. Pump. Just pump damage into them. If I drop both bosses, I think I win. I'll probably have to commit as little as possible just to make sure, because I might have to clear... I'm not going to clear this mess up, I'll be honest. But that's not happening. So if that's the end game, well played to them, but it's game over from that point. You're still immune. Go through her. Dropped one. Mine way? That should be my way, I think. Okay. One down. I don't know if she can get all the way over here, but I would love her to be able to add her damage to it. She can get one hit in, I think. Two. I think this is better because of momentum. And then I'm actually going to pop this. Because block is going to matter a lot more. Okay. Okay. Can you get over there is a question that needs answering. Yes. You're immune to, you're gonna purge poison, but you're not immune to it. Which means we can at least guarantee the kill. I'd love to drop her this turn. But she will die one way or the other. Like, those knife attacks were doing very little. Okay. So, both of you can get to the warp portal. You are the better single target damage by far. So you are chosen to go do it. As far as you can get. Is she in range? No. I mean, admittedly, there's more poison to come there. Her not being in range is problematic. 
I guess your job then becomes clearing up. So we may have we may we can get an extra turn, I think, if we can clear this. This is gonna be down to the wire. So it doesn't matter if people start dying. She's poisoned. She's not gonna die to poison, but she will be left so bloody low. I'm hoping it doesn't matter. Just double check. I don't I don't see a way I can clip her. There is a lightning chain, but it will hit my tanks and likely kill her in the process. isn't worth it. Just weaken what we can, tank up as much as we can. Okay, this side does not matter. Because you have more skill range. You can hit her. I'm going to do this once. Just... Actually, I'm going to keep doing it until I can get a fireball off in there. But I think I can get her low enough like this. Yeah, she's dead. I'm going to I'm gonna continue because of this purge thing. And I don't trust her regen not to go off and screw me over. But I think I've got her. With a crit as well. <laughs> There you have it. Bloody long night. Some of the walls are standing. I guess. <laughs> and kaboom. I mean, it's an interesting take on a story. Obviously, they could have done more with it, but... It leaves it open for, is there a different ending when you do it on higher levels? <laughs> okay, I guess that leaves it open. New God.
Okay. I mean, lots of reward, obviously. But that was interesting. I wonder if that means there's open for a last spell last at number two, which obviously is a bit counter-intuitive. But uh, hey, I ain't going to complain. It's a pretty good game, I think. <laughs> there's still more to it with the levels. We may cover more of the um, harder levels when we get there. R.I.P. Oh, noble sacrifice there. But he did last long enough. He did a decent number of kills. That ta The tanks did all the work, though. The, ta the tanks held for so long. But I think after all that, I think I'll be done with this. Well, at least until the next time I decide I want the hard challenge. I have heard there are bonuses for doing on the um, harder difficulty levels. But those will have to wait for a bit. So, until then, I will see you guys in the next one.